Today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn your red Komodo into a full frame cinema camera. Get it out, I don't want to talk about And I said that I was saving face So before we go any further, I want to explain why you should care about large format or full frame. The large format or full frame look is really popular nowadays in music videos, commercials, and in films, with most of them being shot on the Alexa Mini LF. And the look and feel that you get out of that type of sensor is kind of hard to explain, but you get more shallow depth of field, and at least to me it seems like it gives a more immersive feel to your shots. Overall, it looks way more high production value and expensive, in my opinion, um, but it is expensive. Now the RED Komodo and Canon C70 are great cameras, but they have Super 35 sensors. So let's say full frame is 1.0, the RED Komodo is cropped in by a factor of 1.33. And that's cool. Super 35 isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and it's not inherently worse than large format. However, we are talking about being trendy and being cool, because that's why we're in this business in the first place. How do we make the cropped RED Komodo sensor bigger? Enter the speed booster. Okay, so here's the Komodo sensor, and here's the Alexa Mini LF sensor. Now here's the image circle of your full frame lens of choice. So as you can see, the LF takes full advantage of the image circle, but the Komodo only takes up a portion. Now this is where the speed booster comes in. The speed booster is an adapter that sits behind the lens and has a piece of glass in it. That piece of glass refracts the light from your full frame lens's image circle and basically squeezes it onto a smaller surface area, AKA the Komodo sensor. There are a couple of reasons why this helps us. Well, first, since that glass refracts more light, Light, you end up with an extra stop of light. But most importantly, this effectively increases our sensor's size without actually making it any physically bigger. So how much bigger? You ask? Let's see. So our reference here is full frame at 1.0. Full frame is also equivalent to 35 millimeter film. Since the Komodo is a 1.33 times crop, let's multiply that by the focal reduction factor of the Viltrox speed booster, which is 0.71. When you do that math, it comes out to 0.9443. And I know you're thinking, wait, I thought that full frame was one. How is it, how is it less than one? Well, since the Komodo has a bigger sensor than your typical Super 35 sensor, the speed booster ends up giving the red Komodo even more image circle coverage than full frame cameras which is nuts. So that explains why you get this vignetting, because you're coming up right on the edge of the image circle. That's a very common complaint with these speed boosters, but the speed booster themselves aren't actually giving you the vignetting. It's the edge of the image circle, the freaking lens, dude. Now, full disclosure, Viltrox was very nice to send me their speed booster to do a review on. They said they were fully open to an honest review, so I am going to give you my honest thoughts on this one. Optically, I was very impressed with this thing. I have used the Metabones one and the Canon one, and now Viltrox, and to me, they pretty much render the same image. I know there's gonna be minor differences, and other people have made really good comparison videos, so you can go check those out. I'll, I'll link a couple that I find in the description, but to me, just at a practical level, I didn't notice any difference. Now, the thing where the cheapness of the Viltrox shows up is in the electronic connections. On the second day of trying this filter out, I started seeing it like jump between apertures, just like on its own. I've used other Viltrox adapters in the past and they've kind of all had that same issue. But if you're using lenses that are fully manual, like vintage lenses or a cinema glass, then that electronic communication doesn't matter. So if you're gonna be using manual lenses all the time, I would actually recommend the Speed Booster over the Canon one or the Metabones one because you would just be paying for the extra strong electronic connection, maybe better autofocus, um, but if you're using manual lenses, again, you don't need autofocus. You're not changing the aperture in the camera, you're doing it on the iris. So I think the Viltrox is honestly a steal if, if you're just gonna be using manual glass. This will definitely make its way onto some of my projects, but I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna be using full frame cinema glass exclusively. I know that I'm probably gonna pair this with the DZO Vespa Primes. I can see that being a really baller combo. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I know I learned a lot digging into sensor sizes and image circle and, and all this stuff, but at the end of the day, we're just trying to make good images. And I think this is a great tool to help you make really good images. Also, I just wanna say all of your support on my latest videos and also all of you who have gone over to my Instagram and DM'd me and sent kind words um, has been very encouraging. So thank you 
for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this or anything else. I do have a candle today, actually. It's big. It smells really good. The only reason that Seth and I are together is because of the speed booster. It really just brought us closer. Subscribe to Luke if yeah. you want 100 years of luck and then send this video link to 16 people and have them send it to 16 people and if you do by the strike of midnight you will get a kiss from your crush let us know if we should start a vlog channel we can also review camera equipment <laughs> veltrox cures covid veltrox take it three times a day doctor's orders i'm going to be famous <laughs>